Hi, my name is Patrick McCarthy, a math tutor from London. Today I'm going to teach you some math. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate velocity. Now there's two ways of calculating velocity. The first way is the easy way, and the second way is slightly harder. So the first way is velocity. What's, what, what's the difference between velocity and speed? Now velocity and speed are often quoted the same thing, but actually they're different. Velocity is different to speed in that velocity needs two things. One, it needs a size, that is your speed. And secondly, it needs a direction. So whenever you're asked for velocity, you need to quote two things. The size of it, i.e. the speed, and the direction. So there's a difference. If I'm travelling up the motorway at 70 miles an hour in the northbound direction, then my velocity is 70 miles per hour, that's my speed, in the northbound direction. If I'm travelling southbound, then my velocity is 70 miles an hour, but southbound. So there is a difference, the two are actually different. Although the speed is the same, the velocity is different because they're travelling in different directions. So you must always quote two things when asked for velocity. Now how to calculate velocity? Well, velocity is your speed, essentially. That's what you need to find out. The direction is often obvious, it's just the way you're heading. But you need to find the speed. Now speed is basically the distance you travel and the time you travel it. So basically velocity or speed is the distance you travel divided by the time. Okay, so let's say I travel from here to Birmingham, it's a hundred miles, and I do it in two hours. So I travel a hundred miles in two hours. That means my velocity is a hundred, for every two hours I travel a hundred 100 miles, so in one hour I travel 50 miles. So that's my velocity, 50 miles per hour is my velocity. Now often we don't really use miles per hour, we actually use meters per second, so if you're traveling at 100 meters, so if you run 100 meters and you run it in 10 seconds, then your speed or your velocity is 10 meters per second, and that's how we write meters per second. Meters per second, s to the minus one. That's how to calculate velocity easily. Now there's a second way to calculate velocity. Let's say you're given an initial velocity, and you're given an acceleration. So this time, rather than moving at a straight speed, you're actually accelerating. So let's say I start traveling. I'm running, and I run past a start line. Let's say I'm running at 10 meters, oh, I can't run that fast, so let's say five meters per second. Okay, and then I start accelerating, I try and run a bit faster. Let's say my acceleration is two. That's how we write acceleration. So this, this means that for every second, I'm increasing my speed by two meters per second. So one second later, I'll be traveling at seven, the next second, nine, the next 11, etc. And let's say I start doing that for just two seconds. Okay, so I accelerate, for, I accelerate at this rate for two seconds, but I start at this speed here, five meters per second. So I start at a jog, I start accelerating, but I only accelerate for two seconds. We use this equation, V is U plus A T. It says that my velocity, my initial velocity, plus my acceleration times the time. So my velocity, so my initial one, that's five, plus my acceleration, that's two, times my, the time I do that for, that's two. So my velocity is five plus four, which is nine. And all, we always write the units, meters per second. And that's how to find velocity.